Drew has convinced me and sold me on his. <coughs> Excuse me, Diamondback. I have the Artisan here. This is what it looks like. I'm 6'3, probably 190 pounds. And this would be a custom setup. So I got extra small belt. I'm a 31 waist. I got the 6 inch padded back. I went with the new side by side and the Elias. First impressions with this bag, uh, Drew was saying it seems like a little bit different material. Maybe it's just not quite broken yet, but I it's like the setup. Though. Yeah, it is soft. More pliable. I like the setup. On this side, I would probably do away with this pouch if I could like cut that off. My biggest thing is my frame is very small. And this seems like I've got a child's backpack hanging off my hip. And I don't like that. It is very big. I would say it's like a framing rig. And Diamondback, I don't know what Fat Max you have in your video, but this is this is terrible. Yeah, it's a you joke. You guys have this set up in your 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 cameras to like or on your your website, your product review has the Fat Max visibly shown sitting in here. Looks comfortable, looks loose. Which this isn't. It's a oh, joke. This is annoying. Like I want to be able to just drop my tape and go. Yeah. And which in my setup you can. Which in the miter has a way bigger pouch. Yep. Even on this side, so this is a chalk box side, and you can also put your tape over here, and it's it's just too tight. That's one thing nice about this. I do carry a 35 Milwaukee also a lot of times. And even that will fit in here, but like you can see, mine just drops right in. This design is, your pouches are bigger. I usually carry a chalk box on my left side. So I would say that's a major design flaw on that. What's that called, an SXX? Side by side, oh. which is this. These are side by side. Uh. Which, it'd be great for fasteners. I like the divided pocket here for maybe cabinet trim screws, regular screws, and then maybe some construction screws. Yeah, those, and these these are nice though because they're so open. Like you're a gloved hand, you'd easily be able to drop in, the, you know, stick it in there. So I've got my long bits that I generally use. I got a Phillips T25 and a square. Which that's kind of nice. And then storage I have this. There. And then my miter gauge fits nice here. I don't really have marker storage. Anywhere. Flat bar, I do some electrical stuff. Regular pliers, small pry bar. And that's the Elias. Utility knife. And then I do like this, this is very nice. This is deep chisel pouch. That is nice. And then I got a larger torpedo level. And that's pretty much ate up over here. You didn't buy a flat bar holder? I didn't buy the flat bar holder. Oh, I what the hell? But they don't have, they don't have a cat's paw. It's over here. So you could put your flat bar in there. Falls off. What? Oh, does it have this? Oh, what the hell, diamond back? Yeah, we dropped the ball big time. You couldn't even put a freaking cat spot in there. Here. Which, this is. You guys literally need to hire a carpenter to come. To design this stuff. You gotta quit what taking, a show. taking opinions from these internet sensations use the guys that are in the trades not looking for a buck or get kyle stumping horse or awesome framers to come help you out and hold your hand well and this side by or the mateo and the matiso or whatever they call their bags they're all we work hand in hand with these internet sensations and um kruger constructions oh there. those guys are legit our, our buildings yeah, but they all probably got paid for it, so they don't care. They're just like, oh, I'll run it. Because how much is, was your setup? This is four ninety seven shipped to the house. And you could literally can't even carry a cat's paw. And that was with this. Because, like, the old design of the Diamondback, which I have, you know, this is three years old. Every cat, they had, like, the flat bar loop, which is here, and then your cat's paw. It's like, right here's my chisel. And they put that on every bag, which I think they should still do because they fold up and hide away. So like on this side, I have my uh, right angle. And then this is the, used to be the flat bar was tucked underneath your pouches. 
That's a great design because my flat bar tucks away, protected, so I think they should bring that back. I will say the material is more pliable. I do like that. Um, this belt is more pliable than my setup, like a lot more pliable. This is, you can't beat these Cobra clips or latches, whatever. Yeah, the Cobra buckle's nice, but the belt's more pliable um, and the six inch belt for anybody, no matter what pouch you're getting, even if it's a small rig, I would recommend the six inch. I have the four and I'm gonna be buying the six inch just cause like for this, if I'm not wearing a thicker shirt or a sweatshirt, like in the summer, the problem with the four inch is it really digs on these pinch points. There's a metal um, buckle like here and here. So when I bend over, like I'll, it'll bruise your hips. I feel like with the six inch, it distributes, there's enough surface area on your back and hips that takes a lot of the pressure off the fronts of your hips. Even Alex said like when you're bending over, he doesn't get that pressure that you would get with a four inch belt. And it's natural to... Cause like the comparison... Which I don't like how this one... On okay. the four inch, all your pressure comes in here and digs in. Right into the hip. Yep. And this is high. I mean, my navel's right here. My belt button's right here. Right. And what size of belt? This is an extra small six inch. And you're a 30 inch waist? 30 inch waist, yeah. And how so tall are you? Just above my six foot. Six foot. Yeah. Because I think I have the small. I like this setup without these two. But then I'm going to lose fasteners. So I don't, I don't even know. Which I'd be okay with having fasteners over here. No, I wouldn't because I don't know. This is all wasted space. So I'm looking at trying to swap this out for the Mazo. It's a way smaller compact pouch. Just for, I mean, as you can see, this is what I carry on this side. I want a nice tape spot, which again, this is kind of. It'd almost be better to freaking have like one of the pieces of metal clips. Yeah. Where <clears throat> you literally just like hook your tape. Yeah. On a metal clip. So this is me working with that clip taken off. With the clip on there, it will I feel like it would rip it out in no time. I'm gonna go grab my uh, big Milwaukee fat max style. Let's see. Like, like you know, I can I can pull this tape out, but I don't. It doesn't. It's not like second nature for me. Like, you know, this is just drop it in here, grab it, do my thing. You know, a lot of times when you're reaching for your tape, you're just, you're, you're down already or you're just getting your tape. Like you just need to be able to grab that. That's the most important tool in your pouch. And being up here, I'm really careful. So if I decide to keep this, I'm going to run this for a day. I'll run my laser level up here, or excuse me, my, the Bosch laser tape. I'll just run that up here. And I'll just run my tape down here, but even then, this is so much. All I need is a square on this side and a pouch. Just a comparison. So this is a this is like what I use in reframing. 35 yep. foot Milwaukee wide blade. You can see in my pouch, it catches up, but easily drops in. There ain't no way this is going in here. There is no way. Which I think they need to have stiffer webbing. It take you five minutes to pull that thing in and out. Yeah, and like you can't hang it off of this. That's gonna be annoying. I mean, it'd fit down here good, but yeah, huge design flaw. They need to stiffen that webbing or put some plastic or something to prop it out. Yeah, I like the wide blade because in my pouch, <clears throat> that's pretty stiff, and it sits in there. Yeah, it's. I mean, you can reach it if you're doing. If you're holding something, you still need it your tape. It's gotta be. It's gotta be like intuitive. It's second nature. Grab and go. Like literally, put it down. Grab it. Put yeah. it down. This is. Love the hammer holster. Diamondback, you're killing it with that. Yeah. I, mean, I love this. It's got an adjustable strap. Whoops, I'm done. The hammer holster is an absolute game changer, isn't it? Yeah. For fifty five dollars, this is this is huge. My old setup was clear back here. 
and I was constantly going like this and it was rubbing Pitch back in the my leg. leg and poking my butt and this is Yeah, the hammer holster is money. It's a good job on that, Diamondback. We'll give you that. You revolutionized the game with the hammer holster. This is my setup. You can see the comparison of the sizes. I would say mine's considerably smaller than both pouches. Yeah, this is like a child's backpack hanging off your hip. So you can see I got the miter and the eagle, and I would say both my pouches are considerably smaller than the Elias and the side-by-side. -side. That's your left son? Which I would say those are both framing, framing mm -hmm. to remodeling uh, size bags. And I would say mine are more trim, yep. which compact. I would say for me, I would almost prefer some, just a little bit bigger bags, but they're, they're I do like them. I should trade you Elias, but you don't use much on your left. See how much you have on your right? My left is all my fasteners. It's like. You wouldn't like this for your fasteners either then? Nope. Which it has a bigger well, pouch here. I mean, that would be pretty nice. So you're, you're just like me, yeah. except opposite. You love all your stuff right-handed. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. We hope this uh, provided some good information for you guys. Um, stay tuned for, we're working out here doing spec houses and then our basement project. We hope to get some footage of. You see the beautiful work Alex did on these cabinets. And look how seamless this scarf joint is. You can't even see it. Literally, it looks good. That's pretty great A work there. Please hit like, hit subscribe, and keep hammering.